you can go. Well, with the three of swords on the bottom of the deck, guys, I definitely feel something is has very heavy, just heavily on your thoughts or on your heart. Certain situation you are involved is just taking toll on you and sorry if my expression wasn't completely right <laughs> i'm quite well known to to miss say that, that those kind of things but um i think for some of you you struggling with some kind of ending you had for some of you it probably was relationship um divorce um Maybe you th even saw that you le lost your soulmate, you know, and you finding hard to pick up yourself now and move on, you know, to start a new cycle of your life with a world card. Queen of Pentacles, you know, it's, um, either earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, maybe that was a part, your partner. Uh, it could be male or female. It doesn't matter. It's a general reading. Um, for others, you trying to be this kind of energy queen of pentacles, put up yourself from the ground, what I see, you know, um, trying to find yourself self worth again, start loving yourself again, you know, um, trying to pick up the pieces, you know, what's happened for what's happened, you know, for others, it, if it was in relationship ending, it's probably, it was loss of job, you know, lost some kind of financial loss, um, um, it could be from some, someone from your past, it disappeared, or, like, it's not like when missing, you know, um, it's just like maybe the person very close to you, maybe someone you had a close friendship, uh, they moved abroad, you know, or you moving abroad and you just finding a hard to be with it without this person and finding hard to move on, you know, to this new direction in your life. I do feel, you know, um, for some of you, it definitely could be a case that you, uh, leaving town you grew up, you leaving home when you grew, where you grow up, you leaving relationship, you were uh, leaving maybe even the place you lived and workplace in the same time and you definitely, you like relocating in different place to live, you know, and it's all amazing things are coming for you guys is, Ace of Cups, Six of Wands, Sun, and the world, all good things coming, you know, and you know that you walking forward, something good moving forward, you know, but I do feel for some of you, you finding very hard to leave something or someone behind. Um, You know, maybe you're very close with your parents, I, I do feel, or your family, and your new adventures is going to be somewhere overseas, seas, um, or travel. It, it was going to be travel involved, and you won't be able to to see them very often or call them very often. I do feel some of them getting a jobs like. I don't know, like archaeologists going, you know, somewhere or for a very long time and there's not always network or something. For others, you feel like uh, field strip history, something uh, related. For others, it could be you going to some kind of part of the world, I would say, help people like refugees camp or something do you feel this kind of energy for some of you or maybe just a one of you who knows guys but i definitely connecting with someone's energy here who's gonna do those things and you it's just like either you a heart is hard for you to leave this um home your previous job or something or for others is gonna be job involved p 
pain. So as I, as I said, it could be working in refugees, building schools somewhere, uh, working with um, animals in a jungle, you know, maybe some kind of species who's um, about to be extinct, you know, or something, uh, when the poachers are hunting them for something, you know, and, and for money. You know, it could be this kind of thing you're traveling or getting involved in a movement to save or protect and help people or places or animals. It's a very beautiful message. Someone's about to do a um, great thing. <laughs> My dog's getting crazy. If you heard that. Yeah, you okay. <laughs> okay, let's pull additional cards. Let's see what additional messages do we have for you. And we... Uh-huh. <laughs> Sorry, just my dog decided to come to get some attention. Okay, um, we have Ace of Cups. Beautiful, repeating it. Nice card. We have King of Wands. We have Six of Wands again. Oh, beautiful. Ace of Wands. Oh, Ace of Pentacles, sorry. Two of Cups. And three of pentacles. How beautiful is this? On the bottom of this deck, I have a page of pentacles. And the empress, look on them. Oh, beautiful, guys. Scorpius, you ever had such an... I don't think I had such a nice reading for you for some time now. Or oh, energy is coming towards you, you know. Looks like many of the people, you know, doing this micro retrograde, you know, getting crazy, finding out truth, setting the truth, doing, you know, doing revolutionary things, you know. But for you, it's just, uh, you celebrate life. You use, looks like you celebrating and helping someone to celebrate their life or making their lives easier. Um... <coughs> And you're definitely going to be victorious in one of those kind of trips, you know, or something or seminars. You might meet someone very, very special, um, whom you might continue work towards things you started or he is in the same position as you are, you have same views and something. And you definitely will feel like this person is your soulmate. So whatever you, whatever and whatever you're leaving behind or is in your past and you're trying to get over it, this pain is definitely changing guys as sun coming and start, sun is going to shine on you. You are victorious. Two six of wands and two ace of cups for you guys. So how strong is that energy is and lovely to see with the three of pentacles over here you know talking about um partner up in two up cups and this just all talks about new beginnings beautiful nice beginnings new starts in your life it's like new phrase in your life is coming yes you said leave something behind maybe for some of you, you do feel that you're going about gonna get proposed or you're about to get married but the thing is you will need to relocate maybe because of your jobs maybe your partner's jobs or something and you're scared you're not sure what you're gonna do there with yourself but you definitely find gonna find new passion for life or new things to keep yourself occupied you know for some of you do you feel if you're gonna relocate for like very distant place let's say from where you are now is maybe you won't have even proper visas to work so you will find a ways to keep yourself busy maybe you're gonna get involved some kind of charities or something to help you know people and you find this this like a new passion in your life so it's amazing new starts coming towards you i think it's just like um what the topic in is gonna be for your reading is new life ahead you know just not really sure what else to say guys it's just so beautiful then uh, doing readings i usually get this feeling you know 
or from the spirit they let me feel how the person is feels you know or some and i feel happy exciting yes a bit like oh i'm not sure uncertainty some kind of but it's nothing to be you know scared guys it should be a good scared you know because the way you hitting or the one some the way you, some of you gonna hit it's gonna open all different kind of um doors for you and possibilities you thought it never could happen or you never even imagined doing things what you're about to do so uh, for some of you do feel you're about to get like involved in more charitable um uh, things maybe um if it's not maybe it's your profession regards that you know or something um so many examples could be you know for everyone's gonna be different or maybe you're just gonna meet someone person like this who's gonna drag you into the world in a good way you know and this I, but whatever is coming whatever and whatever whatever is coming in your life is is changing your life that new text that what i just said new text what's that hood not new chapter in your life's coming it's gonna be amazing you know it's gonna be amazing either you're gonna be person who's gonna heal uh help people heal from the pain or animals or things um undo bad things let's say fix bad things happen to the people or something um or you just gonna long for the your family and your friends back home because you're distant from home please do let me know in the comments uh if this resonates with some of you and how it resonates because your reading is just um really really excites me and and just feel very excited for you guys so whatever whatever this reading this resonates could you please just leave the short comment or drop me an email and let me know okay guys please <laughs> this one this one want to come out envy mm. okay interesting guys because i don't think why you f could feel this way maybe at this moment in this macro retrograde I never can pronounce properly <laughs> sorry um you know maybe that's not gonna happen right away and not all in one go um but it's definitely by the end of this month i would say or by the middle of the month you will start seeing things coming your way and how you can change your life so it's just just seeing what additional messages i can say you This card is telling you to let go of the jealousy and acknowledge the blessings you already have in your life. Now is the time to shift your focus. After all, when you envy others, it only attracts more them, not you. Notice that that uh, notice all that you have and thank the universe for it. You see, is you have a lot maybe for some of you can't see this right now but with this energy over here with the three of swords and don't just like oh why they can have a nice relationship why they can have such a fulfillment uh, fulfilled life you know why this and that you know it's coming your way just don't 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 be bitter about other people's success you know or even for some of you i do feel you know if your partner is gonna be the one who in receiving end of this great opportunity in their life you need to know you don't need to be, get jealous you know that they're doing better than you just need to know if you you need to be happy for them and be there for you and if you'll do that, you know, other possibilities going to come towards you so you could, like, catch up on them, you know? 
interesting. Then we have a daughter. The answer to your question involves your daughter. So maybe you need to leave your child behind. Uh, maybe you have a daughter and you need to leave behind for those travel, for this work and this heartache, you know. And maybe it's your daughter who's going to do those beautiful things, you know, in life coming into the life and needs to, you know, happen. And you won't see her that often anymore or something. I'm going to pull up another one. Spiritual teacher. Your life purpose involves teaching others about healing and spirituality. So as I did say, you know, I do feel for some of you, it's gonna, you're going to become either healer, um, help people to overcome the pain or put, you know, um, like refugees can help people who was in pain, you know, or something. It's a beautiful message. And, and definitely for some of you, you know, you need to know that if, if others, if it's your daughter, encourage her to go and search for, 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 you know, encourage her to do things. Maybe something with an envy card is something you always wanted to do in your life and now seeing your daughter doing and you're just like, oh, I never had a chance to do that. Oh, no, just be happy for her. And, you know, when the time is right, you might surprise that you can join her or, you know, you will feel differently about it. But definitely do feel for either way, you know, it could be that envy. For some of you, it could be that your mother is a little bit jealous of you, what you're doing. So try to put yourself in their shoes. Maybe they didn't have a, um, you know, options in their life to pursue this kind of things and get those kind of, do those kind of things. Maybe they always wanted to do you know, so keep her in a loop, you know, maybe get her involved if it's possible in in the long run. I'm not saying straight away. I'm not sure which card do I want. Okay. Practice compassion. See things from a different perspective. So, yes, yeah, for those who's stuck in this... Um, mode thinking that you're not good enough and that what's going to happen if it's ever going to overcome things and this and that so you need to definitely see things from different perspective and they're saying we can all benefit when we try to look at things from someone else's view or point walking in someone else's shoes help us to have a tender understanding that may change how we are feeling now love and compassion always brings up positive out outcomes so as i said you know for some of you, you do feel it could be your mother your daughter if it's not it could be some your friend or partner or you be the person who's um jealous of someone's success success coming here and you know just don't bitch about it you know um don't <sighs> let them enjoy be them enjoy, be happy for them you know if you're gonna be happy for them good things will happen for you too don't be bitter about anything you know with anyone's success <sighs> 